instant anxiety hack. Get up and dance in your underwear. <laughs> or whatever. If you're already closed, then fine. But yesterday, I didn't feel like doing anything. I felt like I was just kind of run down, like sick, like almost felt like anxiety or depression. And that's not like me. I'm usually super chipper and really motivated. So I was like, look, bitch, like get up. You're not laying in bed all day. So I forced myself, got up and danced in my underwear around my house like a damn fool. And within a few minutes, I was already starting to feel like myself, like moving some energy. And the universe is going through a lot of changes right now. We're all ascending vibrationally. This can feel like a detox flu and or it can feel like anxiety, depression, sluggishness, brain fog, even headaches like I had for the past couple of days. And when you move your body, you're helping to assimilate the energy and actually move through those emotions. So it totally worked. Within a few minutes, I was like purging my house because when you have cluttered closets, you've got a cluttered mind. You can't think straight. So get your ass up, get some blood pumping in your body. And I swear, it's amazing. It's like an instant miracle hack. So um, we don't have to be a prisoner of our emotions. When we're stuck there, we're so often taught that we have to you know, do all these like things to, to eat all these pills and go see a doctor and like actually have major beef with anxiety anyway. Like what we're told anxiety is, I don't believe that. Um, I actually think anxiety is a gift. It shows you where you're stuck in your life and it gives you an opportunity to change something. It's, I think, the spirit's way of communicating with you like, hey, we're not supposed to be here. Um, I'm going to need you to listen to what I'm saying. Pay attention to me. I think it's like your spirits cry for help. Every time that I've had quote unquote anxiety in my life, it's because I was being a piece of shit, doing something that I wasn't supposed to do, stuck in a job I wasn't supposed to be in, in a toxic relationship or around toxic people, or I wasn't eating healthy, hydrating, taking care of my body. I wasn't working out enough when I was, you know, like in my young 20s, like smoking cigarettes, drinking, bartending all night long. So yeah, of course, like I wasn't doing what I was supposed to be doing. So you're going to have feelings of anxiety, but that's just me. I feel like we are so conditioned in our society to take a pill for everything. And you know what? Like the cure is simple and it's free. Think about that. There's no profit in telling somebody that they can just, wow, hydrate, exercise, breathe fresh air, move your body, and love everyone, and work through these emotions, and you will be happy again. You will find happiness. And it's actually amazing because science has now proven, they have come out and proven that there is no such thing as a chemical imbalance in the brain. There is no such thing. It doesn't exist. It's not real. And that's a problem for me because they make so much money off of convincing people that there's something inherently wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you. Your body was designed perfectly. It can heal itself. The immune system can clear itself when you provide it with the right conditions. So long story long, if you are feeling sluggish like I have been the past couple of weeks, there's a lot of shit going on in the world. Quickest way to get yourself back on your feet, up and moving, and get that joy flowing again in your body, get that blood pumping through your heart, just get up and dance. Even if people are watching, who cares? You might inspire somebody to be their beautiful, weird self. So don't be afraid to get weird. Life is short. 